All right, so let's talk about something. Let's talk about a Bible verse. Yeah, let's talk about a Bible verse. It's called, Fear of God is the Beginning of Wisdom. That's an actual verse in the Bible. You can look it up somewhere or other. <laughs> somewhere or other in that Bible of yours. Uh, I don't own a Bible yet. Well, you'd better buy one. Um, what does it mean? If you were raised in a fundamentalist Christian environment, okay, a lot of fundamentalist, a lot of people I know who are atheists were raised fundamentalist Christian. I would say 70% of them almost. But if you were raised in a really, really toxic fundamentalist Christian environment, a North Korean version of Christianity, they totally misused that scripture and they used it to do a head trip on you. Fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Yes, it is not the beginning, middle, and end, all be all of wisdom. It is not the only thing about wisdom. It's just the beginning of wisdom. Now, they would use that scripture to teach you fear, period. Fear of everything. Fear, you know, you turn on the TV, fear, 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 fear. You, you, you buy a record, fear, 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 fear. Fear of everything. That's not wisdom at all. That's fear of basic reality, basic normal everyday life. You know, every record you buy, you got to fear that the devil's in there. Every every TV show, the devil, fear, fear, fear the devil, fear the devil. That's not that's not fear of God as the beginning of wisdom. That's cuckoo clock. That's cuckoo clock. It's really honest to God not. It's not Christianity. It's not healthy, normal, sane, stable Christianity. It's it's a it's a version of Christianity that is toxic and slightly insane. Let's take a perfect example. This girl I know who I was talking to is actually was raised fundamentalist, said she wasn't allowed to go to New Kids on the Block concert. Or maybe she was allowed, but they really, really, you know, were suspicious of it. Now, that's not fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. You know, New Kids on the Block, 15-year-old girl, that's almost completely age appropriate. You know, my little 15, if I had a little 15-year-old Christian girl and she's like, Daddy, Daddy, I want to go see New Kids on the Block. You know, I'd be like, well, don't you want to see something cool? <laughs> you know, don't you want to see something cool? She's like, no, no, I really want to see new kids on the block. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Don't look at his dick. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. That got a little weird. I know, I know. That got a little weird. All right, never mind. I wouldn't say don't look at his dick. She shouldn't, but I wouldn't say it. So she, she goes to new kids on the block. Have a good time, you know, age appropriate, relatively that's a that's a pretty much as as safe of a concert environment for a 14 or 15 year old as I could possibly imagine. That's about as family friendly and safe as anything I could think of, you know. So I would say to the 15 year old, have a good time. Now, where does fear of God as the beginning of wisdom come in? Say she is at this this concert with five of her friends and one of them goes, hey, you want to smoke some crack? Bang. Fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Fear, fear, fear. Now fear is appropriate. Now fear is healthy because there's actual danger involved. Fear, 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 fear. So hopefully that's where the scripture comes into play. No, I don't really. Now, I used crack because that's literally dangerous, literally dangerous for a 15-year-old. If he said, hey, you want to smoke this, this joint? You know, it's not, let's be honest, it's not really that healthy for a 15-year-old. But is it really dangerous? Pfft. You know, no. Negotiation of boundaries is an important part of raising a kid. A negotiation of boundaries is probably the most important part of raising a kid. And knowing what's dangerous and what's not is kind of essential. I mean, if you're you're raising your kid as a Christian, you probably don't want, want them smoking the joint. Okay, so you could say, don't smoke the weed. I'm just saying it's not all that dangerous. Okay, we're talking about fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. You know, say he said, the kid says, let's do something dangerous, smoking crack cocaine, or let's, you know, stay out all night in the city, where something really bad could befall you, the four, or your 14 year old. That's where fear of God becomes appropriate. It sets a boundary, a healthy, rational boundary on your behavior, especially as a child. One of the problems with being 14 and one of the reasons why I was so, you know, tended to be so insane when I was 14 is you have no sense, especially if you're a boy. Maybe it's not true for girls, but for boys, we had no sense of vulnerability at all. No fear of God, none. You sense that you're completely invulnerable. 
So we were raised without fear of God at all. I did not grow up Christian. I grew up normal, secular environment. And we did really crazy shit, <laughs> like really dangerous, crazy, stupid things because we had no fear of God, no wisdom. Yeah, nothing happened. But that's that's not necessarily, you know, there but for the grace of God, nothing happened. Something easily could have. That's what happens when you're raised without fear of God, you know. There is there is a toxic side to being raised really, really, really Christian, really hardcore religion. There is something about that, that, that there is a way to do that that is really unhealthy for a child. And usually the ex, the fundamentalist kids were raised in a way that was really profoundly unhealthy. They were taught fear of everything, fear of a TV show, fear of, you know, fear of the wrong book, fear of the wrong friend, fear of everything. That's not healthy. That's just fear. But there is, there is a fear of God as the beginning of wisdom is, is a healthy boundary. That's what it's supposed to be. Had I had healthy boundaries when I was 14, 15 years old, I would have avoided a lot of trouble. A lot. Especially as we started to get older, 21, 22, where, where, you know, actions have real world consequences. That's where fear of God is the beginning of wisdom can come into play. And it can actually save your life at the, at, at best case scenario. You know, it could save you a lot of heartache too. A lot of heartache. So that is what that scripture should mean used appropriately. That is all. All right. So let's talk.